Controlling access to a course in RSmart is easy. First, you can find all the courses that you are a member of by going to My Memberships from your dashboard. You can also reach this list at any time from the U menu in the top toolbar and choosing My Memberships. The user I'm logged in as now belongs to two courses. I'm going to work with this one called Using RSmart Getting Started. When I navigate to that course, because I'm a manager, I have an icon in the upper right corner that looks like a gear. When I click on that, I get an extra menu that allows me to manage some of the settings for this course. I'm going to start out by looking at the settings part. Notice that I can set the title and the description and tags that help identify the course right here in this window. I can also set the discovery and membership models for this course. Let's take a look at those two menus. Discovery is who can find the course. It can be fully public, it can be found only by people who are logged into the system, or it could be kept private to participants only. At the same time, I can pick from one of three membership models. I can have people automatically join, so they can join themselves. People can request to join, which means I need to approve their request, or I can make it very private and only allow myself or other managers to add people. The model that I've selected right here would be a fully private course where only participants who were already in the course could find it, and the participation in the course was completely managed by myself or other managers. At the other extreme would be a fully public course that could be discovered by people outside of the system, and then once they had logged in, they could join themselves to the course and enroll on their own initiative. I'm going to choose the middle ground where logged in users can discover the course and people request to join and so I have to approve their requests. If you set up your course to be, require people to request to join, you'll get a message in your messages box each time somebody requests to join your course. Let's navigate over and you see I have a couple different requests here. And if I take a look at this request from Kenzie Carter, you notice it was originally addressed to all three different lecturers inside the course, so any one of us could take action on it. And if I'd like to actually approve or even disapprove Kenzie Carter's requests, there's a handy link here that can take me over to the course homepage. And there, from that same settings menu, I can go to the join requests menu and either approve or disapprove Kenzie Carter's request to join the course. Another thing you might want to do is manage the overall participants in the course. And you'll see here I have a list of everybody who's in the course so far. I can easily add someone who's um, already one of my uh, contacts. So I could add Chris as a student. I can also search the entire system for other users. I'll add Lance Spielman. You'll see he's added as a student as well. And then I can apply the settings. At any time, I can go back to that same list to manage participants and make changes. Maybe I'll promote Lance to be a teaching assistant. Now when I go visit a full participant list for the course, I'll see that I have several different people in the course that I've added.